Some people may say to me, Hey, Kevin, I have repented of my sins and I continue to do so. And I am trying to live for God. I follow his rules and regulations, but I continue to fall into sin over and over and over again. What is the point? What is the point if I continue to fall back into sin over and over and over again? I understand what you are saying. What you have to understand, when you begin to live for God, you have to understand that demons don't like that. They hate that. If you begin to live for God, they are not going to be able to function within you as much as they once have. They won't be able to have as much control as they do now. So what are they going to do? They are going to fight over you. They are going to attack you more. Why? Because they want you back into sin. What good are you to them? <laughs> what good are you to them if you are not in sin? Man. What good? Hmm? So, whatever sin that you enjoy the most, more than likely, they are going to continue to bring that sin to you. So let's say that you would love smoking marijuana. Guess what? They are going to bring marijuana to you through people that would really not share their weed with you. Let's say that, or yes, or what would happen to anywhere you go, people are offering you marijuana. Coincidence? Let's say that you have a lust problem or you had a lust problem or let's say that one of the many sins that you would enjoy the most was having sex. Guess what? When you begin to live for God, demons are going to purposely bring women down your path that is your type. Coincidence? They will give you dreams and play with your thoughts all day long. Trying to bring you back right where you were at. That rhymes. Is that a coincidence? The reason why they did not fight with you as much as now, since that you are trying to live for God, because you were under their control. Why should I fight with you when you are under my power? I am going to fight with you when you are now out of my power. Make sense? So this is why it is much more of a struggle now for you to do right. Because demons are fighting against you now. Before when you was in sin, you probably did not crave sex as much as you do now. Before when you was in sin, 
you probably did not crave marijuana as much as you do now. Now that you have stopped, no. Demons want you back. So they are going to do what it takes to push you back into it. Who says that living for God is easy? Tell me. Where in the Bible does it say that living for God is easy? It is not easy. So when you live for God and you continue to fail at it, why are you going to give up? You now know that it is not easy. You now know that demons are going to fight for you. They want you back. Why do you want to go back under the control of demons? Why? If you die in sin, where do you believe you are going to go? You can't believe that you are going to heaven because you are in lust or you have a drug problem or you are doing this and that. If you have a lust problem do you believe God is going to allow you in heaven so you with that lust problem chasing around the, the angels and, and the people there trying to have sex with them all? Do you believe that God is going to allow that? Or if you have this drug problem, you believe God is going to let you smoke weed in heaven and shoot up and stuff like that? Of course not. Because if he did, heaven would not be heaven. Heaven would be more like earth if he would allow persistent sinners in heaven. Getting rid of something that you really liked, no, it is not easy. It is a sacrifice. It takes constant work. If it was easy, more people would serve God, but people are not willing to sacrifice. Only if you could see how much <laughs> I sacrificed and how hard things were for me. See, the only thing you may see is see how things are for me now. Oh, Kevin, you know, it seems like everything is easy for you. It seems like you don't struggle with sin and stuff like that. I don't now, but all those years, all those years that it took me to get to where I am now. It was not easy. It was not easy. But you get saved two weeks ago and believe that you can get to where a person has worked to be at, took so much effort in everything, you believe that you can snap your fingers and get to where everyone else is at. It takes work, man. It takes work. I pray that this makes sense. Stop giving up so easily. What if I would have gave up? I actually did. I gave up like... <laughs> Man, like 20 times or more, to be honest with you. But I kept on going back. Because I never thought that I could ever serve God correctly. I thought that it was impossible. It is not. When God sees you trying to do right, 
sacrificing so much, he then is going to step in and help you the rest. Because, man, <laughs> my Lord, it is not easy. Stop thinking it is easy. If you continue to fail and continue to sin, keep on repenting. When you fall back into sin again, repent. When you fall back into sin again, repent. But meanwhile, make sure you are praying, reading your Bible, listening to teachings about God, watching, going to church, and stuff like that. Make sure that you are removing things that does not pertain to God. When you do this, it is going to be easier for you. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.